Hello there, guys. Free Shavakadu here, and I've been waiting to do this for a while. Uh, not a while. Fuck. It's it's only been two days since I've seen the goddamn movie. It's uh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, guys. Um, let's fucking review this. I'm stoked because, damn. I'm gonna tell you this already. Um, I think Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two is better than Volume One. Why am I even calling it Volume 1? No, it's just Guardians of the Galaxy 1, for your information. Or not even 1, fuck. Why, why am I putting fucking numbers after them? Oh my god, this is so bad. Um, please dislike the video. And um, <laughs> Yeah, so this is a review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And, uh, you know, this movie is fucking awesome, I gotta say. Uh, like th This is getting me more and more excited for, you know, the... <clears throat> Oh, my. oh God, oh Jesus! Uh, I, I, this is getting me more excited for you know Infinity War and shit because like, uh, Infinity War is gonna be fucking awesome. I think it's like I think it's still two parts and everything. But yeah, um, let's get into you know a little plot thing and uh, okay, never mind. Nope, not happening. Good. What? Oh God. Oof. Um. So. D apparently, um, what I found kind of interesting. Two months after the first movie of Guardians of the Galaxy One, um, it, it talks. Um, they're supposed to be guarding like some batteries for um a golden race of gold people. Like literally, these people are fucking gold called the Sovereign, and they protect these batteries because they're useful and they're very powerful and something like that. And of course, you know, fucking Rocket Raccoon of the gang. And yes, it's the, the same gang. For this movie and he steals the batteries and the sovereign guys come after them and half their ship gets fucking annihilated pretty much and the reason why they did this job for the sovereign because they have nebula from the first movie who's gamora's sister if you guys don't know and by this is also you know for um people who've seen the first movie too and everything this review kind of so yeah you know but um yeah they're supposed to save nebula everything their ship gets almost destroyed and you know they meet up with uh, Star Lord's dad, who is Ego in this version. And uh, yeah, if you guys don't know in the comic books, um, Ego is a giant, I think, purple plant. Last time I saw him in a comic book, he was purple, like a big ass planet who who was in love with other planets and everything. And in this movie, you know, he's Peter's dad and everything, and he's like, oh yeah, cool. My dad's a fucking planet and everything, and I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys, just that's pretty much the plot synopsis and everything. They were being chased by these gold guys, and they show up every once in a while during the movie, and he, they talk about um, Star-Lord, a.k.a. Peter Quill's, you know, parentage and everything, who his dad is, and why he left his mom and everything, and yeah, it, it, it's quite interesting. I was kind of surprised about this movie. I didn't know it was going to do super well because the first movie was awesome, but I wasn't expecting this movie to fucking blow it out of the water, which it did um, for just many, many reasons. First of all, um, the characters, you know, the more fleshed out more, you get to see more backstory of some of them, especially Star-Lord because, you know, it's his fucking dad and everything in the movie. And you get to see more of that, and it, it is awesome. Like I, I got to say, it's like, you know, we get to see more of people, especially fucking Baby Groot. You know, he's adorable as hell. I'm just gonna fucking flat out say that. Oh my god! It, 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 he. Oh my god! Just the scenes with Baby Groot are just like, and everything. Uh, Rocket Raccoon is snarky as hell as ever, and everything. Uh, Yondu makes an appearance because uh, you know, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> you watch a movie and you, you you'll see what I'm talking about, and uh, you know, yeah, and the same gang. Um, I think everyone you know did pretty good in this movie. Not. Everyone's left out and everything. I liked um, that they, you know, they, they continued the rivalry between uh, Gamora and Nebula in this movie and everything. You know, it, it's a, uh, it's kind of comes to a conclusion here. I'm not gonna, you know, spoil much, but it's not a huge spoiler. But you know, eh, you, you guys should really check out this movie. This movie's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of character development. Um, the person who stole the show, comedy wise, fucking Drax, best lines ever in the goddamn movie. Holy shit. Um, I laughed so damn loud half the time when, uh, he, he made his fucking best one-liners ever, and, uh, th there's a few people sitting behind us who told me to shut the fuck up in the theater because I was having fun laughing, like, fuck them, seriously, and, yeah, I was busting out laughing, not many movies could do that these days, but, yeah, that was fuck. his lines are amazing, the whole movie is funny as hell, too, 
And yeah, like I said, good characters, um, pretty interesting story. Um, this is actually probably one of the better Marvel Cinematic Universe villains so far, because I know the Marvel Cinematic Universe villains are kind of shit, but you know, whatever. I think, uh, y you know, the villains in this movie are especially, you know, they're kind of interesting. So yeah, not spoil much, but yeah, the villains. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we, we got, uh, you know, uh, Mantis in the movie and everything, who, if you guys don't know in the comic books, is an, another character and everything who he brought into the movie. And, uh, oh my god, this movie's so hard to talk about without spoiling it. It's like, oh my gosh. Uh, and like I said, this is all leading up to, you know, um, fucking Infinity War, which I feel like may probably will be the end of the MCU, of our current character roster and everything. And who knows, it'll, it'll be bigger next time. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy fucking 2. It, it was just, oh my god, this movie was funnier than the first one, I have to say, like right now. If you guys like the humor in the first one, then yeah. Um, I think, uh, the movie had a little bit of bad pacing issues. I felt most of the time it was just talk, 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 talk a lot of times, whereas is, you know, a lot of talking, you guys will see that it's not a lot of, you know, space action or anything. And, um, I felt the awesome mixtape volume two, because there, there's a volume one, which had more memorable, you know, back in the day songs and everything. And, uh, I, I don't think, uh, the songs in the volume two were very, you know, good. Not, I, not a lot of them are like super well known and uh, I grew up with a family who knows a lot about fucking music So yes, I do know most of the songs in the volume 2 playlist. I'm not some oh, you don't know shit cuz you're young Okay, whatever fuck you. You know, they don't watch this video or anything like that But I I just you know the, the music wasn't very memorable like the first one I think the first one had much better music, but otherwise uh, I gotta say uh, 9.5 out of fucking 10 like, I don't know if I can even give this movie, a, a, like, an extreme perfect score, because I think it dragged on just a little bit. Just for me, though, it dragged on for a little bit longer than expected. But, you know, hey, th this movie was <laughs> damn near perfect. Oh, my God. You, so much to talk about. I can't say fucking anything to spoil this movie for you guys. But, oh, my God. Just, yeah, 9.5. You guys got to see this fucking movie, guys. It's holy shit. This is my personal opinion about it. It's, it's better than the first one. Some people say the first one was better because of like certain things that you know they didn't do in the second one. But you know, whatever your preference, whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Um, let me know how you liked it. If you did see it or anything like that, this is my review. Peace the fuck out. And oh, uh huh, uh huh. Peace. Ah. Uh.